Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is part 12 of the video series, Salvation Through Works is Heresy. Uh, we're going to move on now to uh, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 13 through 15. It says, Each man's work will become evident, for the day will show it, because it is to be revealed with fire, and the fire itself will test the quality of each man's work. If any man's work which he has built on it remains, he will receive a reward. If any man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. Well, there's a lot of information in that verse uh, there. Um, first, the context of the verse, what really is the subject this is discussing? It's, it's talking about uh, works and rewards. Yes. Uh, so it's not talking about works related to salvation in any way. No. Uh, the, the rewards, uh, what do you mean by rewards? When do, do we get rewards? And, and um, things that were uh, done uh, for Jesus. Um, that were done with the right motive, and, and, and they're going to be uh, you're going to be rewarded for your your faithfulness so the, in your service to the Lord. This is this is really uh, the context of this is the bema seat, or what uh, the Bible says is the uh, uh, the judgment seat of Christ. Yes, and it has nothing to do with your salvation. Right. So uh, first of all, we know that uh, you and I, as uh, those who believe Jesus paid for all our sins on that cross, we're saved. We don't ever have to go get judged for our sins at the other judgment. That's called the uh, the great white throne judgment. All those people who who have not overcome because of their faith in Jesus, all those people who did not get their name written in the book of life because of their faith in Jesus, all those people, they have to go to this great white throne judgment. And they're going, they're already condemned. They're already sentenced to hell. They're only going there to uh, receive the sentence, and uh, uh, it's already settled. But uh, uh, you and I are not going to go there. There's a different judgment that we go to, and it's not to determine if we're saved or not. It's to determine uh, uh, what rewards or lack of rewards we're going to get because of our ministry. And not only our ministry, but you out there, if you're a Christian, uh, then you have a ministry, whether you realize it or not. Every person, from the time they get born again, the moment they become a Christian, that clock is ticking till you die. That, re that part of your life is your ministry. That what, what will you do for Jesus during that time? Uh, that's where the good works come into play for a Christian. And so we go to this judgment seat of Christ... And that's, that's the context of this right here. And it says, each man's work, Frank, the things you did for Jesus, in the, in the name of Jesus, and because of your faith in Jesus, uh, whether it's giving to charity or preaching the gospel or any kind of, any act of kindness that you've done, uh, it, it will become evident. The day will show it because it is to be revealed with fire. And the fire itself will test the quality of each man's work. Now the problem with this verse uh, is that whenever the word fire comes up, red flags go off on alarms. Some of these people say, fire, fire, you're talking about hell. You see? Your, your work's going to be tested. And Frank, if you didn't do enough works, and if you didn't stop your sitting, fire, you'll, you'll end up in hell. And this doesn't mean hell. That's right. It's not talking about hell at all. What is the fire? Is it the fire of hell? If not the fire of hell, what is the fire? Well, you, well the scripture says that it's gold, precious stones, hay, stubble. Uh, the quality of the works is going to be tested by the Lord. Um, he's going to um, he's going to test it mm -hmm. and to see if it was done uh, um, the way He would want it to be done. And if it wasn't, it's going to burn up. Right. You're not going. You're not going to receive a reward. So it says the fire itself will test the quality of each man's work. If any man's work which he has built on it uh, remains built on it, uh, and the uh, Jesus is called the foundation. So 
um, Paul talks about Jesus being our foundation. Our faith in Him is the foundation. And then once we have that foundation, we're saved. And how are we going to build? What are we going to build on that foundation? Yeah, if you look at that scripture, it says, and the fire itself will test the quality of each man's work. It doesn't say that um, that, that that you know if if you if you if you end up in hell, you're going to be in the fire. It's talking about your works mm-hmm. um, um, being tested by fire. In, 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 in the content, context here is not hell. Okay, so um, basically, I don't know how uh, uh, the Lord's going to do it, but there's some kind of a record of the works we've done from the time we got saved till we die, and it's put into this fire that's testing it, whether it is really uh, something God approves of and wants to give us a reward, or whether it's something that God does not even uh, put any value on, and therefore it's just burned up. And uh, it says, If any man's work which he has built on it remains, uh, he will receive a reward. So everything you've done in your ministry that, that uh, the Lord values, uh, we go through that fire and it, and it passed that test, it, you get a reward, some kind of reward. It says, if any man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss. But he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. So, it clearly says here, if Frank's work is burned up, you suffer loss. In other words, maybe you've done some things in your life, and you thought it was what the Lord wanted, but the Lord really didn't value it. So it's burned up, and you've lost. You're not going to get any reward for that, because... He really didn't value it. You may have thought it was important or good, but maybe it was either not valued to the Lord because of what you did, he, he didn't value, or be, maybe because the the purpose, the, the intentions in your heart, the motivation for doing it, maybe, is what uh, made it of no value to, to the Lord. But for whatever reason, some of the things we do is going to be burned up. And then it says, but uh, you suffer that loss, now the loss that people want to say is we lost our salvation. But that's not what that scripture but, says. But if you read the rest of the verse, it says, "But he himself will be saved." So right in the same verse, it says, "You will suffer loss, but you yourself will be saved." So clearly, people, this is saying that you're going to be saved, but your bad works are burned up. Not you. You're not lost. Exactly. Just the, the rewards are lost. Because your works have nothing to do with your salvation. It's not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy He saved us. Titus 3, 5, and as it says in, in Ephesians 2, 8, 9, um, yes. um, we're saved by grace through faith. And it's not of ourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works. Yes. So, um, as it's saying here, it's basically saying here that your works have nothing to do with your salvation. That's what yes. it's saying there. Uh, it, this makes me flash back to uh, Ephesians 2, 8, 9, and 10 we covered in one of the earlier videos and in verse 10 it really explains really the purpose of our works and I think it says uh, for uh, you are God's workmanship, workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works uh, so in other words once we get born again God expects us to serve Him and live for Him and, and, and when we do these good works He has rewards waiting for us uh, if we don't do them, then we suffer the loss of those rewards, but you yourself are still saved, it says right here. Amen. So, everybody, we're not telling you don't do good works. We're saying, yes, do good works, but not for your salvation. The purpose of the works is so you get the rewards. And I don't care about rewards. I want to do the good works because I just want to please the Lord. I want to serve Him. All right. Uh, let's move on to more in the next video.